anybody seen this picture, don't tell me what it is. That's cheating. Oh, no, I've only got one picture, so you're going to see what it is. Okay, right, let me just go back onto mirroring. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a 7D, believe it or not. Buried in there somewhere? That is a 7D. There it is. The view, oh, factor, yeah. the view factor cage, big lens, Preston Motors, Teradek Q. <laughs> Everything's got like, on there. Yeah. Everything's got on there. <laughs> and that's on a steady cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DSLR. <laughs> It looks beautiful because the mouth is in focus, the eyes are in focus, but everything else is nice and soft. It's a beautiful portrait looking image. Depth of field is very shallow in this because the lens is wide open at f1.4. The adaptive free camera is also wide open, but as you can see, there's a huge difference in the image. It's not just depth of field, the whole thing looks a lot more organic, a much more pleasant image to the eye. It's also nice to get objects in the foreground out of focus here but it looks so much better when doing it with an adapter. Designed for time lapse. If it wanted to do real time stuff, it put a 100 speed motor on there, which would be much faster, much quieter. So, for this, you know, this is really designed for time lapse, this current one we've got here. But you can do movements on it and program them. This is the way that I, I recorded a move before. So, I just held down um, one of the program things on the Oracle line. So, I'm going to start recording by press the middle without any movement. Then, I'm going to do my move. Very unsubtle. We're going to go back on the shot, just there if we want to. I think it's very, it needs to be tightening up on that. It's a bit loose. You have that one and a traveler too? Me? Or is that the traveler? This is the three foot. The traveler's the same size it's as that. that over there. Yeah. This, you may think, ah, oh, because they're the same price, it's so tempting to think, oh, I must have the three the bigger foot. Bigger one. Trust me, you will, do not want it. I do. You want the two foot one? Have the three foot one, and I guarantee you, it'll be like, like it around the airport. You, yeah, you have to have it. You won't go in a, in a suitcase. Yeah. You have to get a special bag for it, like a snowboard bag or something. But you can mount it on sticks as well. Right? Yeah, you can center mount it, or you can put it on either end as well. So if you are going to put it. Yeah, absolutely. It's maybe, uh, well, if you center mount it. If you center mount it, you're going to have balance issues. In fact, most people who use this only ever use the small center section because of that. So effectively, only using a two-foot slider, but they're dragging this around with the whole place. Yeah. Every every Kessler shooter I know, um, their favorite piece of gear is the two-foot slider because it can go anywhere with them. Put it in their backpack, bring it out. A simple move. It's all you need. It's all about positioning. Using a slider, about positioning yourself in relation to the camera and the slider in relation to an object. If I had a slider and just and there's nothing in the foreground here at all, just that back wall, and you guys are lined up against it. If I did a slider move on that, you wouldn't see anything. But if there's some foreground information, like one of you guys standing here, and I did a slide across it, you get a sense, much more of a sense. It's all to do with parallax, having something in the foreground. But again, this is five foot one, this is too much for pretty much most of the stuff you're going to use. Uh, having it on a head is going to make things a lot easier for you as well. We don't need this. Whenever I've used the gym, it's, I haven't had it like this, I've just had it with a normal tripod head in there. I, I, I pretty much operate it from here. You can go that way. Just a bit of movement. Those movement looks so cool. 
you don't want to see it that much. And then like you said about placement, I mean that's critical. It's all about placement. It's all about like, when you can run through a corporate shoot or whatever and you can go like put the camera there, put the camera there, put the camera there. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. That was horrible. Was it bad? <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Nice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>